So what's going on, toxic gamers? I guess it is time to be excited. I guess it is time to overhype ourselves because another Battlefield game is coming, man. They revealed it. They revealed it all. Today, they actually officially came out and they started talking about the next Battlefield game and you know we got articles on it, we got tweets on it, Sick is going crazy right now, a lot of people are saying that hey man you remember that don't be sad, this is just how it works out, sometimes Bruh. specialists like the video if you do not want that, dislike the video if you want this back, uh, and this back as well, or you guys saying that it is just, it is over, just let it go, I wanna know where you guys at but Today, a lot of people are actually really, really excited, right? Be because you see, apparently we're hinting that the next Battlefield game, and I got a video that I want to share with you. Apparently, they're saying that the next Battlefield game is launching in 2025. Now, the fact that they have came out this early, it's still not that early. I mean, it's September, right? But the fact that they have revealed this game, or uh, it, they revealed the game even like a, a while ago, I believe, like they revealed it like early this year, even last year right they, they yeah they did that but apparently now they have officially put out the screenshot right or i should say this concept art this is from the next battlefield game so the fact that they have done it this early that tells me that maybe we're not gonna get this game by the end of 2025 maybe we're gonna be getting it like sometime maybe early or mid 2025 oh, i think that is possible because we're getting gta 6 yay we're getting GTA 6 by the end of 2025 and you surely do know that they don't want to drop it. I mean, if they if they drop it at the same time as GTA 6, it is Joe over, okay? Like, this sucker gotta come out before or after and I feel like that it's not gonna come out after because, you know, 2025 fall is for GTA 6 and you know, they can always delay it though, so that can always happen with GTA 6. But when is this game gonna come out? Of course, we don't know officially, but... The fact that they're marketing, they're they're showing us screenshots, the concept art, what have you, talking about that this is uh, this will be a modern day setting with classic 64 players. Return to class system and a return to core battlefield first concept art. Uh, and, and you know everybody's going off right now people saying that better bring metro back which i absolutely agree with and i want to show you guys like a video as well so shout out to the homie jack frags let's actually get into it roll it this is insane on a random monday in september of 2024 ea and ign have just announced it. the new battlefield game this is legit this is real concept art from the game here that's modern day that is a yeah. modern day setting right there I mean, listen, man, like, even with Battlefield 2042, these suckers, like, hyped us all up like crazy, man. And then when the game came out, man, like, it was like this, man. You know? And, and they were just talking about, guys, don't be sad. <laughs> don't be sad. Don't be sad. It'll be like that. This is just how it works out sometimes. Call of Duty went ultra crazy with, like, a friendly BBC online. You know, they went crazy with the BBC bundles and Call of Duty, right? And, and Battlefield was like, okay, we gotta have that, right? But apparently what we're now learning is that this game is gonna be modern day, no specialists, and the classic, I hope they mean when they say this, right? I hope they actually mean it when they say classic system, because I'm thinking about, like, the, the, the assault pack, right? The engineer, the, the, the support, the, the recon, the original four class systems, right? And the, the, the real uh, factions, the, 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 the real, real military uniforms, because Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 were big with that, right? You, you knew, like, uh, who you were going against, because China had distinct uniform, US has distinct uniform, I'm talking military uniforms, right? And of course, Russian had that uh, spe special, uh, especially in Battlefield Bad Company 2, man, oh, it was amazing, right? Like, the immersion was there, even though, like, look at this game, man, this is Battlefield 4, this one was first revealed at E3 2013, 11 years ago, and damn, bro, like, this game just slaps every modern piece of trash modern game that is out there, right? Like, come on now, man, what are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like the video if you want something like that, but... Not sure about this location. I, I mean, there was no indication this was coming at all. So let's get into they it. Just came. They just Vincent came. Pelle confirms the next Battlefield will use modern setting, first concept art revealed. We get our first glimpse of EA's big Battlefield revival and learn more about how it's heading back to basics. Ahead of its Investor Day on September 17th, EA revealed fresh details on its untitled Battlefield game alongside... Yo! So they're having an investor call. I, I was not following up because yeah, okay. Oh man, okay. Looks like that they're probably gonna reveal more information then oh, on the on the day off. Maybe it can. Maybe I'll live stream then. Maybe I'll live stream. Not sure. Cannot confirm it. But its first official concept art, which IGN can exclusively reveal for the first time. IGN uh -huh. can also confirm that Battlefield will be returning to a modern setting 
after st I'm smiling, man. After stints in World War One, World War Two, in the near future, while EA is cagey about specifics when it comes to the concept art, including declining to name of the city where it's set, although yeah. it looks like. Italy or somewhere else in Europe. It does include details that should stand out to longtime fans of the series. Among other things, it appears to suggest that ship to ship and helicopter combat will be a part of the new game and that it will feature natural disasters like wildfires. Its greatest color scheme is evocative of BF4, which remains one of the most popular games. Okay, they're like really hyping us all up, man. I better not see like people looking like this when the game comes out, man. Because I remember these seconds overhyped the living crap out of Battlefield 2042. They were like 128 players, right? They were. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna get like the entire village in the game. You know, in that map, right? I forgot the map name. It, it was a desert map. You know, we are we are, we had the tornadoes. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be tornadoes all day. <laughs> they, these seconds went crazy, man, with the tornadoes and all that. And, and people were asking oh you got any destruction mate you got any destruction and i remember like and at one point there were some bad news coming about battlefield 2042 that we're not gonna have any destruction i remember making video on it like other were other youtubers were covering it and fans were like nah man there's no way man. like this is cap this is lies 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 we're gonna have destruction and you know then the devs came out and they just said that there will be one small town that will be fully destructible fully destructible in that desert map which i don't remember the name of yeah. and guess what the game came out no destruction ladies and gentlemen no <laughs> no destruction man like these seconds were crazy uh, and, and now they are ho over hyping us all man holy crap like what the hell man what the hell i i hope we, we get some good stuff right, let's get back to the content here boo boo in the series despite being released a decade ago crazy. so you've got a ship there some kind of big attack boat maybe where the hell? Oh yeah, Apache helicopters, attack helicopters. I didn't yeah, even yeah. notice those, man. Oh damn! There's the fire on. over there. All of it. And, and seeing the fire, it kind of reminds me. Uh, let me actually pull it up. Yeah, here we go. Seeing the fire here, it does remind me of Firestorm. I'm not sure if you got good memories with it or bad memories with it, but it does remind me. I never really played it. It should have been free, but damn, homie, like it's it was not, and uh, it didn't do too well. Is it still alive or they shut it down? That part I'm not sure, but. Before I show you guys what's coming, okay, because there's another stuff, I real quick, I gotta shout out the homies, uh, Danny's, we got Big Zen, we got the homie Kells, we got the homie Alex, uh, we got the homie Legend, shout out to all of you for following on the Instagram, if you do have Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there, links are always in the pinned comment, alright, let's get back to it, boo boo. It's to a back to basics approach for the next battlefield. Indeed, head of respawn and group GM for EA Studios organization, Vince Zampella is quick to shout out BF3 and 4 in the course of sitting down with IGN to talk about. You suckers better not hype us all up by saying that this game is gonna be like Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, okay? Because if it turns out that it's not, oh man, you know that people are gonna go crazy. Brad, like this better not be, okay? This better. I, I mean, I want this to be, I mean. I, I want this to be a new Battlefield game, but I want this to be a Battlefield game, not Apex, not Fortnite, not Call of Duty, though. Come on, man. We got Fortnite. Let Fortnite be Fortnite. Let Call of Duty be Call of Duty, even though Call of Duty is no longer Call of Duty. But but you get what I'm saying, right? Like, Call of Duty is eh, 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 something else. Probably, you know, they, these things are crazy over at Call of Duty, too, but we want Battlefield to be Battlefield. Okay, use the formula. Use the formula. In Battlefield 3, from Battlefield 3. In Battlefield 4, from Battlefield 4. Okay? And make a new damn game simple but gotta be battlefield gotta be battlefield okay simple simple like the video if you agree about these new reveals on the decision to return to the modern era zampella says i mean if you look back to the peak or the pinnacle of battlefield it's that battlefield 3 battlefield 4 era where everything was modern and i think we have to get back to the core of what battlefield is and do that amazingly well and then we'll see where it goes from there but i think for me it's that peak of battlefieldness is in that BF3 and 4 days, so I think it's nostalgic for players, for me, for the teams even. Those are kind of the heyday, although I would say 1942 also. Bruh. Yeah, I was playing 1942 when I was a stupid 12 year old or something like that. Okay, man, looks like that we on the right track, guys. What are we thinking, man? You think that this is it? You think that this is the one, folks? Pre-order now? You thinking that? You think that we should pre-order now? You think that? Pre-order? Pre-order worthy? Or, oh, uh... Oh, let's over a hype us all what you thinking man where are you at man or you think that nah bro like don't don't do it man don't do it don't do it uh, the return of the modern setting represents a course correction for the series after bf 2042 which eventually found its footing but was otherwise widely panned for features like specialists characters that made it seem as if battlefield was trying to be a hero shooter 
its ambitious 128 player maps also proved unpopular with fans who preferred a more focused experience. BF2042 eventually went back to supporting 64 players per map and the next Battlefield plans to stick to that approach. I'd rather have nice, dense, really- Now, to be honest though, like, I don't mind the 128 players, but yeah, I feel like that these suckers could not make, like, a good map with 128 players, or perhaps they could be, but you know what, like, this is a dire situation, fellas. I don't think you guys understand that. I think EA probably is now starting to understand that, because if this time Battlefield does not succeed, I wouldn't be shocked if they shut it down completely. Yeah, right? Like, remember what happened to Medal of Honor? After all, we're talking about EA, man. And the fact that they're still making another Battlefield game? Oh, man, they EA got a lot of patience, though. So I gotta give credit to them. Because normally, if something don't work, they're like, shut it down. Shut it, shut it down, right? I, I get it, though. You're losing a ton of money, so you don't want to lose more. I get that. But Medal of Honor 2010, it was, a, it was an amazing game, man. It was an amazing game. It's one of my favorite FPS games of all time. Came right before Battlefield 3. I remember, like, Metal, Fo Metal of Honor also had something like, hey, get Metal of Honor, and, and you're gonna get early access to Battlefield 3 beta. So right after that, we had Battlefield 3, and, and Call of Duty was on the top as well. We were having, like, really, really good single-player games. Like, gaming was just, like, back to back to back to back to back to bang, back to back to back to back bangers, right? It was a, it was a, it was a very unique and uh, very... Uh, uh, amazing time, right? It was a good time to be a gamer at that uh, back in the days. But then Metal Fun and Warfighter came out, and ultimately it was it was trash. It was trash. Listen, man, like hand on top of this bottle of water, <laughs> it, it was trash, okay? And ultimately, people did not like, fans did not like, and apparently they also didn't make enough money, and they were like, let's let's shut it down, and they indeed shut it down. Had it been they just made a uh, Medal of Honor 2010 Part Two? When I say Part Two, I mean like. You know, a game similar to that, with the same mechanics, same levels, but new maps, new gameplay, and just better game overall, right? Like, simple as that, right? Simple as that. They would have been successful, but they went crazy with the HUD. I remember the HUD was pain. The HUD was just trash. Just, as, you know, what, what happened with Call of Duty Zombies? Yeah, exactly, right? Like, every, it's like so much crap on your screen. Look at this HUD. This is Battlefield 4. You know, you, you got, the HUD is just barely anything man bare minimum you got your your mini map radar you got like who's winning you got the objectives there uh and you got like your squad status there and then you, you got like your little gadgets there's so small here forget the game spot logo here but then you got like your ammo count right your health your flashbang your grenade count there that's it bro that is the hud right there what are we talking about nowadays you got something everywhere like hit markers enemy health now, to be fair, though, you can turn it off, but at least in the original gameplay reveal and in the original, uh, you, you know, just like uh, how whenever you pick up the game in the settings, the setting is always turned on for the blur on or there's like motion blur. Yeah, motion blur, right? Turn that crap off. Turn the enemy health off. Something like that, right? Uh, the friendly health, this was not annoying, though. Like, I gotta be honest, okay? This was not annoying. But, like, turn that crap off, man. This was uh, immer this game was so immersive bro like the hud back in the days was so immersive but metal of honor warfighter almost had the same problem and of course it had other problems through which uh, this video is not about so we're not gonna get into it but this game needs to be immersive it needs to be battlefield simple simple really nice well designed play spaces some of them are really good yeah the 128 player did it make it more fun like doing the number for the sake of the number doesn't make any sense. We're testing okay. everything okay. around what's the most fun. So like you said, the maps, once they get to a certain scale, become different. It's a different play space, and I think you have to design around that. So we're okay. designing something that's more akin to previous battlefields. Dan Pella says, I'd rather so. have nice, dense, really nice, well-designed play spaces. Some of them are really good. I can't wait for you to see some of them. Okay, I, lo I, lo I like the word dense, though. I like the word dense, though. <laughs> because I'm thinking like maps like Operation Metro, right? I'm like, uh, I'm thinking about like this map, this was called Shanghai, Siege of uh, Shanghai, right? Like uh, this is what I'm thinking in my mind. Because these maps were pretty dense, man. These were pretty dense. So hopefully this is going to be dense too, right? Okay, so maybe more of a focus on map design this time than giant maps. 64 players is going to be the main game mode, it sounds like. Specialists are also out this time around. So I wasn't there for 2042, I don't know what the rationale was, but for me, it's like the team trying something new. You have to applaud that effort. Not everybody liked it, but you gotta try things. It didn't work, it didn't fit. Specialists will not be coming back. So classes are kind of oh, at shit. the core of Battlefield, and we're going back to that. He's careful to stress- What? 
No, say it, it ain't so, man. Say it ain't so, damn. Damn, in other words, we're not gonna be having that. It feels like that we're not gonna be having like those operators, those twenty dollars, thirty. I, I feel like that they're like whoa, like whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's not get too ahead, ahead of ourselves, man. We talking 2024, 2025 here, okay? Microtransactions. After all, we're talking EA. I mean, these like is where the the first ones to be like, yeah, man. It's surprise mechanics. The the microtransactions are so you know the loot boxes situation, right? It's surprise mechanics, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it is surprise mechanics you open it oh you are surprised i mean of course you're gonna be surprised because you know you got nothing out of it you wasted your money getting that loot box you opened it and you're surprised uh, uh seeing nothing essentially right like you wasted your money and you're like oh man you're not just surprised you're shocked you're sad you're devastated by it. you're devastated by it uh and, and yeah that's what it is right but these things are crazy man and uh I don't know what are they gonna do with the microtransactions because if they have no specialists i love it though i love it though but yeah man something don't sing too right there though i don't think so guys like i feel like that we're still gonna be getting microtransactions we're still i think we're gonna get operators but probably not specialists i think they uh, because with the specialists comes the specialist abilities i think we're not gonna have that that's good i think the class system they're saying that they're gonna bring back the old class system that's good so no specialists class system coming back i think we're gonna get the original class systems back that we had always in battlefield games in the previous uh, games right i think we're gonna get that uh so no specialists no specialist abilities but i think there are gonna be operators i think the operators will be there uh, and they're gonna go crazy with the microtransactions true or maybe not maybe this stuff is gonna learn maybe this stuff is gonna learn i hope they learn but that 2042 wasn't a failure of a game despite not doing as well as he hoped he notes that the development team really spent a lot of time learning how to adapt it and getting things back. Still, he says EA doesn't want to repeat of the experience it had with 2042. Oh. We want it to be good out of the gate. It adds up to what one oh, wow. might call oh, classic wow. Battlefield, but bigger. Big enough that it merits the efforts of four separate studios in DICE, Motive, Ripple Damn. Effect and Criterion. Ridgeline Games. I mean, they always bring back Criterion. The last time they brought back Criterion, oh man, they were like, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be next gen, man. But it turned out to be Battlefield 2042, guys. But this time, maybe they learn, maybe they learn. It needs to be good right from the get-go. Something that, you know, ever uh, Battlefield 3 was good, uh, I, I feel like, right from the get-go. It also had some issues, but okay, whatever, right? It was a big game, and overall, Battlefield 3 was amazing, man. Like, it was amazing. Battlefield 4 had a lot of issues, right? Uh, I remember in the very beginning. Battlefield 1, I don't think so. Battlefield 5, yeah, like, it was just like, you know what I mean? But over time, Battlefield 5, uh, they started putting out good maps, good content, and I feel like that it sustained itself a little bit. But overall, the major fan base were, they pieced out, essentially, right? Battlefield 2042, same thing. Right now, people are saying that they have learned from their mistakes, right? Uh, and later on, they started putting out good content, but it's like, bruh, like, nobody cares anymore, right? Everybody's like, hey, just whatever, right? So this game needs to hit right from the get-go. Oh, you think it needs to? It better. It this better. was briefly part of its development before being shuttered after founder Marcus Leto's departure. EA yeah, CEO he, Andrew shot. Wilson claims it's one of the most ambitious projects in history. That's just from the earnings call. That's old. Nevertheless, Zampella oh. remains vague on what all of that actually entails. Yeah, it's definitely betting bigger on Battlefield. It's going in and expanding what Battlefield is. We have to have the core. The core Battlefield players know that they won. They've been with us forever. They've been amazing supporters. We need to earn their trust back and get them back on our side. And then it's expanding out and getting more players into the universe and seeing what we can do. So oh. when you want a different experience, you don't have to leave Battlefield. You can experience more things within the Battlefield universe. So we're expanding the offerings that we're giving. Oh, wow. So I think that's alluding to stuff like campaign. They've talked about that. <laughs> um some kind of experience that ripple effect to make it yeah they they did confirm that that was a while ago but you never know man these suckers can always remove it though oh, shit. Oh, shit. they can't always remove it though i think i've always assumed logically that's going to be a battle royale portal maybe some no, kind of expansion there no, too no. I, I would I, I wouldn't mind portal though i wouldn't mind and you know portal could have been 10 times better because th those things removed the ranking factor there was there was some crap like hey if you play the portal you cannot rank up right like some something like that happened i'm not sure about now maybe maybe they reverted the changes maybe if you play portal now you can still rank up yeah right because like hey who cares bro like who cares it's just artificial levels in the game dog who cares man if you're level 100 or 1000 
Like, what the hell are we talking about? It's just an FPS game. Let people have fun. Bruh. Like, so what? Somebody is uh, ranking up like crazy by playing Portal. So what? Let people have fun. Simple as that. Y'all suckers killed your game that was gonna die no matter what, but you killed it faster even than that, bruh. Like, don't do that. So, I hope Portal comes back. Battle run now, man. Just get the F out with that. Get mom out with that, bro. No, uh, yeah, but Portal, I want that. Me, me, Gusta, the, the Portal, bruh. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Check out this video on the screen. Some insane news that just came out. Don't check out this video. Yeah, don't watch it, man. Check out the video on the left, alright? Because I don't want you guys kind of feeling that way about it.